<laughs> hold on, guys. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> oh, I was a little late setting up. So happy spring. Happy Easter to all of you who celebrate Easter. Mr. Jenna, get your face in here. I'm trying to. My yeah. Sorry. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I see Jennifer Cagle. Scott said you were singing. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. Uh, and Lisa came in early. Thanks, you guys. And LaDonna is here. And Karen is here. Yay. Yay. And Kara. Right. Uh, so we did not really celebrate uh, we didn't have any Easter festivities this morning or, no. you know, I didn't get an Easter basket from a certain Easter bunny. I'm just going to say hmm. that. <laughs> Easter bunny didn't show up this year. Oh, look, Jennifer noticed. Jennifer noticed. Oh, what do you think? What do you think, Jennifer? <laughs> I love this shirt. Yes. My colleagues uh, at work are jealous, too. <laughs> Yeah, on Fridays, he gets to wear T-shirts. So he shows off his favorite tees yeah. at work. Yes, I do. <laughs> Hi. So let's see. LaDonna just got back from playing with Baby Faye. She figured oh. out all the eggs really fast. Oh, that's wow. so fun. Little smarty pants. That's so fun. Yeah. I, I loved hiding eggs. Now, I got a bit of a um, uh, geographic shock um, when I moved here to, here to Denver <clears throat> uh, when Skylar was very young. I moved here with my first husband when Skylar was 15 months old. Hmm. And so uh, growing up in the Los Angeles area, I had not experienced close to four seasons. And I know for a lot of you, Denver isn't even, I mean, it's four seasons, but um, it's not even like in the thick of four seasons <laughs> because it melts fairly quickly here. Yeah. But, you know, I grew up where you go outside and hunt for eggs. And I remember her first Easter <laughs> going, I have to hide the eggs inside. <laughs> that was a I was, foreign concept. It to was you. a complete foreign concept <laughs> to me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but I adjusted. <laughs> <laughs> I found a lot of good indoor places to hide eggs. I got good at it. Yeah. So yeah. But that's awesome. I, I bet that was so fun. Not just to prepare for Faye, um, but the process of of you know watching her enjoy the hunt mm -hmm. and then obviously opening for surprises yeah that's that's, that's the thing with the plastic eggs is usually you end up putting candy and stuff in there so they they fixate on getting the candy out each time i grew up with the old-fashioned hard-boiled and then you dye them and you leave them out for the easter bunny to go hide mm-hmm so it's more of like, oh, let's just keep hunting for the eggs because there there was no, you know, you didn't need to stop and smell a hard boiled egg. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you just like hunt and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, I bet that was fun. So I'm jealous, LaDonna. I'm jealous that, you know, and I, but I'm so happy for you. Like just, that just must have been so much fun today. Yeah. I just sat here prepping for the sale. Yeah. <laughs> Scott made me breakfast. Mm -hmm. All in all, it's a good Sunday. It's a good Sunday. It wasn't <laughs> yeah. too crazy. Oh, is Pam here? There she is. Pamela <laughs> Blanchard. Hey, Pam. I love you. You are just <laughs> the sweetest, most wonderful human. Oh, yeah. So much, so much fun. So sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks she for is. showing up. Oh, my goodness. Colleen is here. Well, where'd she go? Oh, <laughs> there she go? is. Hey, Colleen. Yeah. Yeah, we had Colleen over for dinner on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Yeah. That was fun. It was fun. And Scott uh, cooked up for for us all. And yeah. and I think she liked it. I'm I think pretty... she did. She she well, she 
she said she liked it. I yeah. hope I hope she did. Yeah, yeah. she did. Cool. <laughs> she yeah. did for sure. Okay, so that was fun. I'm, I hope everyone enjoyed their day. Whatever, you, however you decided to celebrate it. A lot of us stayed on YouTube. I mean, I watched Daniel Techie as me in the morning with some of my friends here, and then I watched um, Stephanie. Um, sell stuff by the seashore and she had two guests during the middle of the day. So I spent a lot of time on YouTube <laughs> and, you know, working, you know, listening to the sales and working on organizing this one, which I'm going to say for anyone who <clears throat> didn't see the reel or, you know, is just popping in. Welcome to the Sunday night soiree. Yay. And a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times I, you know, I usually give myself a theme. It kind of helps me pick items and search for items. Hmm. So it is something fun uh, that I enjoy, you know. Oh, thanks. Oops. Wait. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Monica. Hi, Monica. Ciao. <laughs> um, I know Monica saw my reel. Um. Or was I? Mm, what was I talking about? Just talking about all the people you were seeing on YouTube. No, no, no. Oh. Um, I wanted to, I was oh. going to say my sales. Oh. That I oh, usually cura seen, that's right. curate sales for Sunday evening. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome to anybody who is possibly new, watching, lurking. Uh, I'm glad you're here as well as all of my wonderful friends here in the chat who've said hello. Um, but tonight's sale... Uh, I have been trying to curate a lions, tigers, and bears. And I decided, even though it, I didn't have like a ton of items, I said, well, what am I, I'm going to pull my lions, tigers, and bears. I'm going to do that Easter Sunday and I'll add a few hairs, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it's, it's, bears. it's bunny day. Not because, no, because it's Easter. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I know. But it just so happens that it rhymes with bears. Mm -hmm. So it's tonight the soiree is going to be lions, tigers, bears, and hares oh <laughs> as the theme. Yes, oh my, as the theme for the items I'm bringing. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I do have quite a few that are starting higher at higher price points. Uh, don't, you know, I don't let that you know, uh, deter you. It's totally fine if people aren't into that, but that's just kind of how it rolled for this evening. Uh, I hope you guys just enjoy looking at some of the things I brought at least. And we're going to start the sale with a giveaway. So Monica loves your look. Thank you, Monica. Thank you so much. <laughs> I just got this jacket. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> <laughs> So we are going to do a giveaway and it is open to anybody, no matter where you live, including Monica. Uh, tonight, uh, the giveaway, a lot of times I'll do different types of ephemera, but this is a image from an antique book. Um, this uh, is from the, I believe it's called Little Folks. Uh, it's an antique children's book and there are a lot, a lot of images in it. And this one just so happens to also have uh, the back image is pretty darn cute too. Little girl jumping rope, but it was appropriate for the theme. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm giving away. Um, a nice little book plate image. And everyone who wants to enter, it's going to be a random draw of a certain number. But anybody who would like me to send them the lion picture, put in the word lion in the chat below. So whoever wants a chance at it, put in the word lion. Hey, Amy. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Executive antique curator jacket. You could look at it that way. <laughs> <laughs> you could definitely look at it that way. Yeah. Let's see if I can. See, I like the, it's all metallic. Do you guys see that cool patch? It's like so 80s. It's it's really cool. Ah. <laughs> All right. I see a few of you. Hey, Peppermint Patty. I see a few of you. <laughs> My number is oh, 
well, we'll just wait and see if, if, if not, I will pick a new number. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't work out. We were getting uh, close, I think, maybe. Did you see the number that's on there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, we go. So, so <laughs> yeah. GK, hi. Katie Bernie, hi. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight. Oh, shoot. I put too big a number. Yeah. Hmm. How many people are here? Maybe you should have warned me as to who. Oh, there's about 39 people. Oh, okay. Well, hi, Karen. Do I need to just? What How about I we do? just say people can put in more than once? Okay. Maybe not. All right. Mr. Jenna suggested putting it in more than once. I'm not deterred to the idea. So put it lying in more than once. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go down the row and pick the number. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. I'm open to it. Hmm. And you count and announce okay. our little giveaway winner okay. to get us started. Um, and then while you're doing that, I'm going to need to put up my info just in case anybody needs to refer to this. I am doing a live sale tonight and I have both straight claims and I also do bids uh, to win the items that I am offering up. Should you win something and you have not bought from me before, then I am going to need you to email me the following information. The item you claimed, your real name and your YouTube name, if it is different, your home address and your PayPal email. And note that shipping is not included. It will be added to your invoice. Uh, and the shipping uh, is done through Pirate Ship. Uh, it is a, a wonderful site that gives us discounts from the regular post office um, rates. And I'm going to be shipping from Denver, Colorado. So the way uh, the uh, price is figured out is the weight of the box, the size of the box, and the distance from where you live from Denver, Colorado here. So that's the gist of what I need. And note, um, if you are new that, whoops, add to stage. My email does have a dot in between antique and agenda, and that is important in order for me to receive your email. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Anything else? Oh, we have my, a winner. We have a winner. We do. All right. Who's our winner of our our lion? Our winner. Who is wins our lion? Lisa Gens. Lisa Gens. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> You were the 13th person, which is the number I had. Oh, no. 12th 12. 12 person Phew. that I had I like, written down. Okay. Lisa was the 12th person. I did this early. Okay. <laughs> so I knew I was close. I was close. Okay. So Lisa, this is going to you. You can pop right. that over. Thank you, babe. Sure. Congrats, Lisa. And I was going to say that when I, I'm going to have three click, quick, three click, <laughs> three quick claims. Uh, tonight, I do them usually at the beginning of the sale. And if more than one person puts in the claim letter, we have a random drawing of a card system as to how we select the winner. Um, and that's just how I do it here. So let's get started. Let's get started for our lions, right. tigers, bears, and hares. Oh, my. <laughs> Good, babe. Good. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. All right. So I'm going to start with a tiger. Now, I like I said, I, I did decide to put up this sale a little early. So I actually only have two tigers in this whole sale. It's mostly lions, bears, and hares. But this is going to be a quick claim. This is our first item up for bid. It is an adorable mini squeaker. So the squeakers, this one has a light squeak because it's tiny. But it so makes this a, is, this a little is for squeak. Bid. This isn't a quick claim? No, no, it's quick claim. Okay. Yeah. okay. What did I say? You said bid. Quick claim. So, okay. I apologize. No quick worries. claim. Okay. So 
Um, I thought this would be cute because uh, there are a lot of people who collect the squeaky toys. Um, and I think this little mini uh, guy would be cute to put uh, tucked into someone's collection uh, if, if this is their jam. Um, the paint on him is pretty darn good. He's a cutie. Hmm. Here's the back. He's going to be $5. So anybody who would like to claim this little mini squeaky tiger. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's wrong? I need a new piece of paper. Oh, okay. Sorry, hey. guys. Okay. I need a new piece of paper. Well, just all I have is these little ones. Oh, okay. no, I need them. Um... Do you have a bigger ones somewhere? Oh. Yeah, over there. And a marker. Hold on, guys. Please hold while I write down. I, I just want to write down the letter that I have on my sheet here. So, okay. There we go. Anybody who wants the squeaker for $5 is going to put down the letter Q. Okay. <laughs> Q for Mr. Squeaky Tiger. Cute little folks, baby. Uh, a lot of folks coming in here. Oh, do we have a lot of friends yeah. coming in? Yeah, we got Rob Hawkins. Oh, nice. Hey, Rob. Hi, Rob. We got uh, Heidi. Heidi's here. Hi, Heidi. Hello, hello. Love you, Heidi. We got Proud American. Proud American. That's still Bert. Hello. Hey there. We got Barbara White. Barbara. I'm not sure anybody wants a little squeaker for $5. That's all right. We got GK. GK. Yeah, I said hi to GK. Oh, you did? Okay, I didn't mm -hmm, hear that. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Crescent Moon's here, too. Moon. I just see Crescent Moon popping Yay. in. Hey, Looks like Peppermint Patty's in. For Peppermint me. Patty! Okay, if no one pops in right after Peppermint Patty, then uh, little Squeaky Tiger is going to go home with you, Peppermint Patty. Uh, I think I think it's good. Okay. Congrats All for right. you! Congrats. No competition! See? You know, that's, that's how it might go. This... Um, on a holiday evening, uh, there might be less competition out yeah. there, which very is positive. good for you guys. Okay. Peppermint Patty. All right. Thank you so very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed a little guy. And the next quick claim is a hair. And this is a 1990s-ish uh, little piece from Walnut Ridge Primitives. Very cute. Def definitely uh, my jam. <laughs> They're cute little hand-painted pieces. This little guy is perched upon a piece of cabbage or lettuce, uh, but very, very sweet. And um, this one is signed. Walnut Ridge Primitives, 1992. Mm. And Little Rabbit on a Cabbage. His claim letter is going to be W, and he is going to be $6. So if you wanted this cute little guy for $6, <laughs> you're going to want to put in the letter W. He'd be cute tucked in a little teacup or in a little <laughs> pot, like a little flower pot. A little, a little flower pot where you have like your herbs. Oh, he'd be cute in there. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> darn cute. Hi, Blueberry. Oh, Blueberry Barn, happy Easter to you. Happy Easter to everybody. I see Barbara has put in the letter W. I'll just wait uh, a few seconds just to see if anybody else wanted this cute little guy. <laughs> But I'm not seeing anyone right away. It's adorbs. Because we've got Gracie's Loft in. Oh, Gracie's Loft. Gracie's Loft wants him. Okay. Not seeing any more. Should I wait a little longer? Or should we pull a car? Pull a car. Pull two cars. Okay, Barbara White, you're number one. Gracie's Loft, you are number two. And are you going to have me pick it? Well, no. You mix it up and then I'll pick it. Oh. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. Oh, One. Barbara White. Barbara. 
Barbara White, you get the little guy. Thank you so much. Thanks to Crazy's Left as well. And I'm going to let you take his little card. Okay. Put down Barbara's name. Yay. And then the last quick claim. This one is going to be $8. And this is one of those... Um, Oh, my earring just flew, oh, out, no. flew out my ear. Um, like a shelf sitter. These were really popular at um, places like Pier One. Do you remember these? Um, where you, there would be all sorts of fun little animals. This one's cute because he's a mini. He's a mini version of those little wooden shelf sitters. Very um, tapping into old folk art. Um, but I saw he was a tiger. So I grabbed him knowing that, you know, eventually I would have my lions, tigers, and bears sale. And I thought he'd be fun to bring. Definitely another one of those pieces where added into um, a bookshelf or curio to add some fun character whimsy into your displays. He definitely would be adorable if you had a fun little hat. If I had one, I would have put it on him, but I hmm. didn't have one. So this is going to be $8.00 for this little articulated wooden tiger. You can see he's a littler guy. And if you would like to claim Mr. Tiger, it's going to be letter G. What? Just Jennifer. What'd she say? So she said shelf has Star. Oh, that's I because sometimes Pam says the other way. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't quite get that. You get it? I get it now. A self -er. shooter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's a family show. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> I I never announced that this was a that's family true. show. That's true. <laughs> we can make claims all we want. Yeah, totally. Okay, so little tiger ready to <laughs> sit on a book would be cute too. Um, Pamela like that. She's laughing. <laughs> Mark says it the other way. Okay, it's Mark. That does oh, it. okay. All right, so I'm not seeing anybody in for cute little tiger man. I'm going to put him down. But if someone pops in G yeah, just, uh, later, just you, let us know. You, you know. tell me. Yeah. They'll tell you, and then you tell me. Okay. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> I'm going to try to put my earring in. Yeah. Got to watch out for flying earrings around here. Jeez. I think you can take it, honey. <laughs> All right. I'm almost there. I am. I have gone through the hole. <laughs> I am now sandwiching the backing. Okay. We'll see how we can last to the end of the sale. So. I'm so glad some of you came in for Easter. I wasn't sure how it would go. So I'm glad you guys are here. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad you can hang out with me. And I can show you my lions and tigers and bears. And hairs. And hairs. All right. So next item. I am going to show you guys just on a book because it's perfect. Perfect to display on a book. And so we're going to start the bidding. This is not a quick claim. This is going to be a bidding process. I'm going to move my glasses there. You just see a glass line. Yes. So yeah, put, well, you can put Viking because it oh. is a Viking um, brand, I guess you could say, maker. Viking glass lion starting at 25, please. And thank you, Mr. Agenda. Got it. All right. As soon as I see it up, there we go. All right. So here he is. We have a beautiful frosted glass lion. Some listings call this a paperweight. Uh, I say you can just call it a sculpture if you want, because uh, I think he looks darling in, uh, on, on a book. Um, but of course, he could hold down your papers mm -hmm. should you want him to do that. Uh, and he is... Uh, a nice solid piece of glass. Hey, Christy. Hey, Christy. How are you? 
Uh, I, I love the fact that he's frosted. It looks very Lalique. Um, and he does have his sticker. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, there's something about a sleeping lion. Uh, there's that saying, never wake a sleeping lion. Um, but lions have such majesty. But then, you know, when you have a sleeping lion, there's always that like tentative. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is he going to be grouchy when he wakes up if you <laughs> wake him up? So uh, this could be also fun uh, as a piece right next to your bed since he's sleeping. But I will show you the Viking sticker. There you go. Cool. Viking glass. And um, it has some nice texture is how I'm going to call it in the glass. And I'm not sure it's going to come through. But it's kind of has I can't explain it other than like a, a texture. Like it's not perfectly smooth is the best way I can. You can kind of see. Do you see those little ripples in the glass? And there are some little, what I'm going to call those little sheer marks. Um, that little sheer marks where they snipped the glass from the mold, right? Like in there. But he's such a pretty little paperweight slash art object put him uh, anywhere really yeah he's beautiful i love him <laughs> i see ladonna ladonna's in at 25 <laughs> and i'm gonna just turn him around a little longer i can measure him i'm gonna say what do you think six five um, we'll six bigger you think bigger than six? Yeah. It's right behind my drink. Oh, thanks. I say it's mm -hmm. closer to eight. You think he's eight? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half long uh, for the Viking glass lion paperweight in a beautiful frosted finish. And I'm going to start the countdown. Hello, Jennifer. I've got Soul Loves Canova Lions. I'm going to start counting down from 15. Hold on. Let me put up LaDonna's bit of 25. From 15, 14, 13, 12. Ah, he's a heavy. <laughs> 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. So Canova Lions, um, as I'm assuming that is like a a breed or a geographic location. Right. I mean, I always that, assumed. Like a type of I always culture? assumed like all 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 lions are like African, <laughs> but maybe oh maybe you're saying maybe Canova is referring to an artist. Yeah, like Viking, or it's like a brand. Oh, or, maybe. I'm guess, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Jennifer can tell us. <gasps> There's the bid end. So Ladonna had no competition. Ladonna, thank you so much for buying the lion paperweight. You can take both over there. Would be lovely. LaDonna, thank you. Congrats, LaDonna. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Next up is more lions. Yay, I have a Lilique lion that he will go with nicely. Gorgeous. Mm. I'll have to look up and see what the Lilique lions look like. So. Next up, and I'm going to throw on my glasses, this is an antique sarsaparilla trading card. And you're not, do you know how to spell sarsaparilla? S-A-R-S-A-P-A-R-I-L-L-A. Mm, yeah. It's all right. You just put antique trade card. It's fine. And this is going to start at $15. Okay. Okay. 15 Yeah. So this uh, has beautiful 
uh, image of a lion family. And it's, it's even titled uh, the lions or the lions at home. Is that what it says? The lion at home. And so you have a uh, father lion, mother lion and cubs. And the front is advertising hoods, sarsaparilla, a hundred doses for $1. Uh, it's beautiful. Now, this trade card is sandwiched between two panes of glass um, with this. I'm not sure exactly how they fuse it. I believe it's some sort of soldered metal um, process. And let's look at the back because this will interest you. It says so right there. <laughs> So this says, to complete your visit, be sure and see Four Paws Grand Concert um, takes place immediately at the close of the circus performance. I bet this trade card was, was handed out in front of the tents at the circus. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Well, I saw that this was a good trade card online. So also underneath this, it says the world famous Zazzle, your spe a special attention is called to this young lady's performance, which is introduced more for humane than exhibition purposes. Zazzle has invented a life-saving net, which has been adopted by the fire department of New York City uh, for the purpose of rescuing the occupants of burning buildings. Wow. The young lady in full view will leap from a great height into this net, showing you how anyone mm. may do the same and risk neither life nor limb. Mm. I beg to differ. That's cool. You see uh, Jennifer explaining how, what the Canova lions are. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So it's an artist. Mm -hmm. You were right. I'm going to have to look and check out Antonio Canova. Um, so it's got, it's just talking about more. Um, I think performances for um, a circus act. Um, very cool. So mm. we've got Hood's Sarsaparilla uh, in the beautiful glass uh, panel um, preservation uh, keepsake framing here. Hey, Angela. Hi. Happy spring. Happy Easter. Hey, Angela. So I don't see anybody in for $15. Do you, babe? I don't. Okay. I'm going to pass on Hood Sesperilla trade card. Going once. Going twice. Pass. Okay. Okay. All right. Next. This is starting at $15 as well. Okay. And this is... An old vintage bear. <laughs> this one has a lot of wear, but that's what makes him so lovable. Is that he was carried around by a young child and squeezed and hugged and slept on. Um, 15, right? 15. Okay. Yeah, just put vintage teddy bear 15. Uh, it's, it's a little bit preppy on top, but I've got camo pants on the bottom. So other angelists here too. That not completely say. preppy. <laughs> is is Angie Corn here? Yeah, she. Oh, oh. She came in right at the same time. She she. Uh... <laughs> I know you weren't talking about me, but it was perfect timing. Oh, okay. So she came in when I said <laughs> yeah, hi when together. Yeah, we said hi to Angela. Okay. Angela. I, okay. Yeah. So I didn't really miss her. She no. just came in at the no, same time. Just came in. Hi, Angela. How was your weekend? I'm gonna have to. Have to find out how your weekend was. Okay. So we have sweet, vintage, very worn bear. I want to definitely give you a, a close up of this sweet little guy. He's got uh, a lot of love on that little muzzle. He looks very well loved. Um, but he's so cute. And he's got uh, it's just the canvas or Actually, it almost feels velvety. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's canvas or velvet, but uh, the, the pants definitely are like a, a velvet. And don't you love the little balloon 
pants. I think he's just so sweet. Let's put up your thing. Boom. There we go. So adorable vintage teddy to put in a collection if you have a collection of teddy bears. And he uh, had, you know, probably some repairs because he's got these long strings uh, coming off his backside. I'm not sure. I'm going to say 10 inches. Are you about 10 inches long? He says, I don't know, but I've had a life. And yeah. Hi, Steph. I had so much mm -hmm. fun watching your sale earlier today. Um, uh, if you guys say hello to Steph. Uh, hey, she, Steph. She's she been having some fun sales Sunday afternoons. It's about noon my time, so probably two on the East Coast. Yeah, one or two East Coast. But she is on the West Coast. So... This sweet little bear. I think Angela wants to see her camel pants. Was looking for a home. But I'm not sure we're going to find you a home today. Who wants to see your outfit? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I've got fancy belt underneath. Do you guys like? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys like it? Hey, Tammy. This is, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm trying to flex my style muscles, so I'm working on it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so she can hide in her surroundings and nab. <laughs> <sighs> you you like my outfit? Thanks, Tammy. Hi. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> Say hi to Linda if she's there. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to put Mr. Balloon Pants to the side with his little bag. I didn't get to show you his bag, but I just don't think anybody's ready for you. So yeah. um, you're not traveling anywhere. You're going to stay with me. That's okay. you got plenty of other yeah, friends. Yeah, you've got plenty of friends in the teddy bear area. Yep. I have a large teddy bear area. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Moving on. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so now we've got postcards. These are going to start at $8. Okay. So put a lot of bear post antique postcards, or just put bear postcards. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Deanna. Welcome in. We're doing a soiree tonight with the theme of lions, tigers, and bears, and hares. Oh, my. Dang, I was a little late on that. You were late the last time, I too. Know, I'm, I'm <laughs> typing on my little That's okay. tiny little phone here. But I, I, you know, it's not a day if I'm not giving you a hard time. I know. <laughs> Give me a hard time. Just bring it on. Okay. Do you want to scoot closer? What are we starting for this at? Um, $8. Okay. Oops. Hold on. Let me show what you. What did I do? Scott needs a tablet. He does. Yes, I need. A we did have a tablet, but it, it died. Well, yeah, I it's on. Its I way fell out. kind of. I tripped on the stairs and it fell on the ground and was destroyed pretty much. Yeah, which happens when you're klutzy. <laughs> and I, I I have a tendency. I've got very large feet. I trip over my feet. I fall downstairs. It's not good. It's not good. Okay, so a lot of antique postcards. Now, these have a lot of wear, but fabulous subject matter. I'm going to save this guy for last. So the first three here, um, uh, only one of them has a postage stamp. The other two do not. And obviously, this was part of a Days of the Week series, uh, but we have Thursday... Uh, Thursday, uh, is this, I have this totally backwards. So Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hmm. <laughs> and on Thursday, uh, we've got two lady bears um, it, exemplifying um, the calling uh, process of when they used to use the calling cards and someone would pay a call and have a visit and come have some tea. And this um, host, lady bear host, for some reason is very distracted by 
whatever is in her journal. Maybe it's a diary. Maybe it's some hot goss. But the tea is being spilled in, oh, no. <laughs> in her visitor's lap. <laughs> so there's the Thursday card, and that's the one that is addressed. And then Saturday and Sunday. Saturday uh, is for baking. And you've got a, a mother bear baking and a child bear reaching to mm -hmm. snatch some baked goods. Those look like cookies to me. Um, she, he's just going right around her tush, and she's catching him in the act. Mm -hmm. Get your paws off them cookies. Those are for your grandparents when they come over for weekly dinner. All right. And then Sunday. Sunday is the day for the promenade. Uh, and if you guys uh, have been mm -hmm. watching uh, the, not, what is not the, yeah, the Gilded Age. Mm -hmm. The Gilded Age, uh, a lot of times they will do one of those like promenades where everyone is out in the park uh, having their tour and promenade uh, to socialize and be seen everyone's mm -hmm. in their finest dress and they it's it granted it's supposed to be just be for you know you're supposed to walk for your health but a lot of it had to do with uh being seen and uh showing your best um, mm. fashion and all of that so we've got sunday is for the promenade so we've got these and you know these have got like edge wear they're not in pristine condition but they're fabulous subject matter how often do you find these cute little bear cards? And then this one, um, I still wanted to include, even though he's in rough shape, because uh, these teddy bear postcards, if you can find a actual antique postcard that has a teddy bear on it, that's very desirable for teddy bear collectors. And this is one where the little bear sat on a freshly painted bench and got some stripes on his fur. And it says a bear impression, and it does say um, grandma on the front right there. Hmm. And then this one is postmarked with a message. Um, it is very light, um, light pen or light pencil. Hmm. And this is dated 1909. Wow. Mm, I can't read the top, but it says, dear something, your grandpa got home yesterday. This leaves, this leaves us all well. What are you doing? You ought to have, I'm here. Huh. <laughs> I'm not sure. Hard to read. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. Yes, Thursday? To help haul, oh my goodness, Goober, our little dog, got snake bit. What? Oh, no. Oh, is better. Right soon. Oh. Right soon to your grandma. Ooh. Poor Goober. Wow, grandma. I'm not sure about your sentence <laughs> structure, <laughs> but there you have it. This was a postcard from my grandmother to, obviously, her grandchild. Hence the subject matter of the teddy bear. Hmm. And I do see Tammy Renee Walker in at $8 for the four antique postcards featuring bears. I'm going to count down from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Thanks, Deanna. I, they are really, they're very cute. I'm just waiting for that to come in so we can call it for Miss Tammy. I think we got a little bit of a lag tonight. Hmm. Has to be. <laughs> well, maybe you can count. Has to be a Southerner. Goober. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Goober. All right. Thanks, Tammy. These are coming All to right. you, Tammy. All right. Okay. This is one of my bigger items, but it fit in with the theme. 
Um, here, let me take this down and um, this is going to, let's look, put Monarch glass canister start at $40. Okay. So we have one of those 1930s, 40s, um, larger kitchen glass canisters. Um, but what makes this super collectible is the fact that it is uh, advertising Monarch finer foods and it has a wonderful lion on the mm -hmm. front. Do you see the lion head? So cool. And so, yeah, I know it's starting higher, but uh, that is about half of what you're going to find it online for. So still good for you guys. And there's also a really cool um, chevron uh, pattern here on the sides. I'm thinking this is a fort from the 40s. Look at that. It is. It's so cool. And the lid is just kind of a plain green, um, kind of painted, I'm guessing, but definitely looks to be original. Um, but would go perfect uh, in the right kitchen um, who likes to collect, you know, advertising tins, um, jars, things things of that nature. This would be a fun, unique addition because um, mm, it's cool. one with a lion head on it. Hey, Val. Hi, she had Val. a fun day with her family in New York today. Oh, awesome. That's great. What'd you guys do? Did you play games? Did you go to a museum? Did you just hang out and eat great food? Thanks, Mel <laughs> Melody. <laughs> Hello to you, by the way, as well. Uh, but thank you for your bid of the $40. And I will show you. Mm -hmm. um, Our kids grew up with SpongeBob too, Deanna. The bottom. Yeah. I, I, I secretly like SpongeBob. I actually enjoyed I liked Sponge, watching. I liked SpongeBob <laughs> too. But you yeah. know, my mother, uh, really, I don't think she liked SpongeBob's laugh. Um, but I did. I I liked it. Yeah. I liked the world of the Krabby Patties, mm -hmm. and I really liked yeah. Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Squidward. Gary. Gary. <laughs> Gary is Gary. pet snail. <laughs> yeah, because the pet snail meowed like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah, I think people either love or hate SpongeBob. It's yeah. Not, there's no. It's very polarizing. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is a wonderful piece. Um, Monarch Finer Foods glass container, and I so far only see Melody, so I will start counting down for her from 15. <laughs> and definitely um, after this, maybe refresh, guys, because Scott thinks we are um, have a fairly large lag. So from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. Melody loves Gary too. <laughs> <laughs> Gary. The Goofy Goober song would get stuck in my head. Oh, oh, that's why she brought up. Yeah. I don't remember the Goofy Goober song. Maybe I, I mean, I didn't watch it. I probably know it regularly. If I like regularly, like I didn't sit down with her all the time because I was doing mom stuff when, like, you know, Meow. when your mom. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> all of the above and playing with your. your oh, so she did all of it. Cool. Very cool. Like There's the bit cool. end. Okay. So Scott's bit end is in. Melody, this is yours for the $40 uh, uh, opening bid. So congrats. You got the jar. Thank okay. you so much. Beautiful. Thanks, Melody. All right. Melody Southern Book Guy. Okay, next. Next is another one that's starting high. <laughs> but sometimes that's just how it is because I like to find cool things. 
<laughs> so this is a Stife Lion Ooh. starting at $50. Is that I-E-F or E-I-F? I think it's E-I-F. E -I, -F. I think it's two Fs. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. So here he is. We've got a precious mini Stife. Now, if you were just watching Amy's video today where she went to the Lansing Doll Show, uh, she showed uh, a couple booths uh, that had stuffed animals. And uh, she was uh, at one of the booths admiring all of the little miniature stifes. She saw an adorable little hippo uh, and squirrels and, of course, you know, all the other uh, uh, creatures of the world. But uh, this is a lion. Perfect for the theme this evening. Oh, um, so there is no button, ear tag or anything, um, but um, he's he's definitely a stife. Just signature mohair uh, paint on him. Uh, and definitely some wear, some, you know, ruffled fur. He doesn't look like he's super brand new, but that's okay. That's how you know he's authentic. He's been around. He's been around the, what is it, the Savannah? <laughs> he's been around the Savannah a few times. Yeah. Uh, you've got the glass eyes, the stitched nose, precious little stife lion and i thought if someone was oh let me put up your thing if someone was ready and bold enough to decide they wanted to take home a mini lion i'm gonna give you a choice of how to display him first choice for the more feminine curios you will get beautiful Vintage ribbon corsage. Now, if you notice, this little guy, he kind of looks like he he's just interesting the way he's designed, his haunches. He almost looks like he should kind of be like propped up. So, you know, you have to find the right spot. And so I found the perfect little perch on a ribbon corsage. Should you want to put him in more of a like feminine, floral, romantic mm -hmm. display, then you can choose to bring him home with the vintage floral corsage was one of the big fat ribbon flowers. Uh, that one took some time to make a um, beautiful uh, little piece there. But should you want to bid on him, you can choose between the corsage for display or let's say you're more into just vintage toys. You're not so floral. Uh, I've got a rusty, crusty little... Um, what is this? It's a trailer. Trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so he can hang out on the little trailer. Wait, how did I have him? There you go. Little trailer. Now, in this case, the trailer, I feel like he needs a friend. You know, maybe you have another Stife in your collection where he they could both take a ride on this trailer. But I thought the trailer would be good for uh, anybody who, like, maybe collects a lot of tin litho toys, more um, rusty, crusty advertising, things like that. Put them in a display, then you would choose the rusty toy trailer. <laughs> and um, the way this trailer is, obviously, it needs to be hooked onto a car. But since I don't have the car, it sits up. And that's why I thought he was perfect for the way this lion is, because he definitely um, is kind of meant to display propped, propped up at an angle. So there you go. You get choice of trailer or corsage depending on how you would like to display a pretty little stife stuffy. Is anybody in at $50? Stife stuffy. Stife stuffy. <laughs> Say that three times. Yeah. That could be, <laughs> that could be tongue-tied. Oh, do you love him? Yeah, he's cute. So I'm not seeing anybody jumping in for Mr. Uh, Lion. He's not ready to go to a new home yet. Oh, but he's pleading. He says, give me a name. Give me a home. I don't like this lady. <laughs> <laughs> she puts me on weird things. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to put pass on the lion. Okay. Love my stife animals. They do a good job. They do do a good job. 
Uh, what's nice about uh, what I love about any, it doesn't have to be stife, to be honest. What I love about the mohair animals, those vintage mohair animals, is the way they used to like paint the fur. There's that, it just has like a vintage quality to the animal itself, um, mm -hmm. where I just, I love mohair, um, no matter what it's on or what brand it is. Um, just, it has that vintage look that I enjoy. So that is a pass, pass, pass. You're stuck with me. We're going to have to name you. Yeah. Leopold. That's a good one. All right. Next. This is starting at 24. You may think, but it's so small. <laughs> But if you see its comrades, you'll understand. So what I have is uh, a beautiful little bronze uh, Lion of Venice. Uh, so this prop, this is like a museum quality um, souvenir that you would take home. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Is Tammy bidding on Leopold? Oh. Tammy, are you bidding on Leopold? <laughs> oh, looks like it. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Leopold, come back. Come back. I'm going to count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in for Tammy. And Tammy, tell Scott if you would rather have corsage or... Rusty trailer <laughs> as your display bonus of choice. It's a little bit of a sensitive subject, Jennifer. What am I missing? Oh, no. She just said, so the lion is like the dog doesn't like you. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm projecting. You know, yeah. maybe this, maybe this is my way of working out my the feelings because the dog does not like me. <laughs> she really doesn't. Um, and that will be his name, Leopold. <laughs> oh, okay. we graduated from Leon. Oh. <laughs> the trailer, the trailer. Okay. She wants the trailer. Okay. Okay, Leopold, in you go. All right. Thanks, Tammy. You're going to a great new home. Congrats, congrats. Let me scratch that out, put you in. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we're back to, did you put in Lion of Venice? I did not. I did 24. start bid 24. Oh, where is it? It's, uh, it's right here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Okay. So now we're back to, um, I'm not sure where I left off, but. Oh, I think I was just saying that. So I'm thinking that this is like a souvenir, but more like a museum quality souvenir, something you might see from um, a equivalent of like um, Metropolitan Museum of Art here in the States. It does have its sticker. And I need the glasses because you guys know I need them. Okay, so it says Bronzi Artistica Venezia. Mm. So uh, this uh, not only depicts uh, the Lion of Venice, but uh, it was also um, made in Venice. And so if you're not familiar with uh, the winged Lion of Venice, uh, they're pretty much all over, um, uh, especially in the Plaza San Marco, um, in that kind of center area where there's the Basilica and so this is a representation of uh, St. Not St. Paul, St. Mark, because it's San, Plaza San Marco, right? Hold on. Hold on, I wrote it down. Oh. Um, St. Saint Mark, hold on. The Evangelist, that's where I'm getting mixed up. So Saint it's St. Mark, Mark the but they called him St. Mark the Evangelist. So the wings... And the book, and sometimes I guess they give him a halo too, but this one doesn't have a halo. But this is supposed to represent St. Mark because St. Mark is like the 
the patron saint of the entire city. So you will see the winged lion all over Venice. So that is who this is supposed to be. Um, and I know that the book usually has some sort of quote in relation to like, I am, you know, St. Mark the Evangelist, kind of a, a statement. So this is a little um, uh, gold bronzed statue, $24. This one I'm going to measure because if you are comparing it to ones online, you might say, well, Heather, I'm seeing six inch ones for like four times that amount of money. Well, this one's smaller and um, three inches. This well, one's Kelly's longer. Okay. So the base, the base is three, the inches. base is three inches. Yeah. So maybe four, if you count yeah. the tail. So uh, just, this is really nicely made. So I thought, well, we'll just go ahead and offer him at 24 to see if anybody wants him. And if you don't, that's okay. This is definitely one that I feel like I, I could list. I just, it's easier for me to bring stuff here. Mm -hmm. I've gotten very lazy <laughs> since I've started live sales. I'm going to tell you the truth where it's like, okay, I'll bring it here first. And then it's like, oh, okay, if no one wants it then I'll go list it. But yeah, I've gotten lazy. I, I like not having to necessarily take all the pictures, mm -hmm. like all the pictures of all the sides. It's time consuming. It's a lot easier to make a reel and show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Heather, I got all my brass pieces today. Love them. Yay, Cheryl. Right. I'm so glad. Okay. So the small lion of Venice sculpture with the beautiful wings, uh, and really nicely sculpted with the ribs. Um, Monica said this is a great price. Yeah. I, I thought so too, Monica, but again, it's kind of like you have to, you know, someone has to be wanting a lion of Venice. <laughs> <laughs> and it might not be on everyone's radar, even, you know, if, you know, he does have cool wings. I mean, yes, he is supposed to represent uh, a saint and is, a, you know, a, a sign or a symbol of an Italian city. But you might just like him because he's a winged lion and he's very fantasy, fantasy mythology, hmm. you know. So we're going to pass unless anybody jumps in. Going yeah, once. Let's know. We can maybe recap it. Going end, so. twice. Lion of Venice. Pass. Have okay. you tried what not? Here. Deanna. Funny you should mention that because. Uh, no, I have not tried what not. But I am going to, for the first time, I'm going to give Vamp a try. And Vamp is uh, the same style of platform as what not. But VAMP, of course, is run uh, by some of my wonderful friends here uh, on YouTube, Reselling Friends. It's uh, started by Misty and Michael Todd. Um, if you guys don't know, VAMP stands for Virtual Antique Marketplace. And I will be doing that next Monday, actually. I'll, I'll tell you more about that next week, but it should, it's, it's going to be part of a blitz. So kind of like whatnot, where when they have those special trains and everybody is kind of scheduled at a different time and everybody kind of pops in and um, what do they call that? Raid. They raid the other people. So Vamp does the same thing. It's exactly the same. It's an app form of selling. Very different. A little bit faster, although I don't, I'm not planning on going super fast for my first time. I'm sure I will feel awkward and weird. But I am going to give it a try. Um, I am signed up for whatnot. I just never did a sale. And again, you know, it's 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 a different kind of prep. Um, but I thought I would, the reason why I wanted to give Vamp a try first um, before like a whatnot is I really love the community. And so like the community of people who come in and watch Vamp or, you know, look at the auctions on Vamp, they're all of you guys. They're all of the friends that I trust and I appreciate. And I know there's just a lot of like, there's there's more like respect and love in the community um, instead of just like random people popping in and out and whatnot, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, but not that you can't build relationships and whatnot too. I know, I think you can, but for some reason um, I am, <laughs> I am kind of attached to selling here on YouTube because uh, I just, I like 
the fact that I can go at my own pace. I can talk to you guys. I love the fact that it's a, a horizontal um, orientation versus the phone. I have a hard time on my phone. Like it's going to, it's going to be a challenge for me to, to try this, but I am, I'm trying not to be a fuddy duddy and I'm trying to like, you know, try new things and do different mm -hmm. things. So I'm going to give it a try, but I'm going to tell you working on a vertical format and being forced in a small phone, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be a challenge, but I'm going to mm -hmm. give it a try. Yeah. Oh, Blueberry on Vamp! Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, it'd be so much fun for us. <gasps> If I like it, or even if I don't like it, but you want to do some sort of like live thing, yeah, I'll totally do it with you, Blueberry. Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. No, you know, no, no question. <laughs> okay. You see, uh, Linda's here. She um, says she's going to have to watch Tammy Renee. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you have to tie her hands down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Make I'm, her sit I, on I, hands. I'm glad you're giving him a home, though. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I really am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys are so funny. What not? Oh, LaDonna has an opinion that what not is oversaturated. That's something I hadn't thought of. Um, I think like in most cases, you think the larger the um, viewing audience, the better. But, you know, uh, I don't know. But yeah. maybe maybe there is something to say for oversaturation. Some people love what I mean. Some some of the retailers I think, love I'm, it. Too. I'm thinking what she means is maybe there's just there's too many sellers mm -hmm. selling the same things, similar things, which is maybe possibly um, lowering their value. I mean, I don't know, Ladonna. Is that what you mean by oversaturation? Um, I'm thinking she might mean more of like reseller. Um, some sort of like statistically what she's seeing happening um, with selling, but I don't know. I'd love to know. Yeah. Let me know on uh, what you meant by oversaturation. Um, but I'm thinking she just means like this too, probably too many, too sellers, many sellers in the same categories, mm -hmm. oversaturating the goods. Could be. That's my guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. Oh, I need to pass this. Okay. Pass online of Venice. Okay. All right. Oh, here we go. She's kind of saying here. Explaining now. It's very hard to get a following on whatnot. Be prepared to sell at a loss before you gain a following. Yes, too many sellers, not enough buyers. Mm. Yeah. So they I, really aggressively pushed for sellers at the beginning. What not? What not did. Yeah. Oh uh, well, I I mean everybody in order to get off the ground, of course they're gonna yeah. That's that's yeah. that's just normal. Marketing. I mean, I think that's yeah. that's fine. Um, but for me, I feel like if I'm gonna get uncomfortable and try to sell in a vertical auction format on my phone, which is hard, I'd much rather hmm. dip my toe in over at Vamp because uh, it's a community that um, you know Misty and Michael and you know we've kind of all you know we kind of all know each other and a lot of uh, the the chatters and buyers all trust uh, them and mm. us, and it's just kind of it, it's a safer it's just a safer place where I feel like if I'm gonna try it, that's where I want to try it. Um, so yeah, mm. whatnot is also battling a lot of counterfeiting. Mm. How do you counterfeit? Oh, maybe counterfeit goods. I mm. I didn't understand. Mm. Maybe like um. Like the the things people are selling are counterfeit. Is that what you're saying? Like the the sellers are not trustworthy, or whatnot. Maybe is not vetting their sellers well enough, and the sellers are selling whatever they want and saying whatever they want, and not knowing what they're selling, and so selling things that are not communicated correctly. Is that the nice way of saying it? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm sure I'm for sure going to check out Vamp out. I mean, it's, it's another, it's a, it's, it's a, just a whole nother world. Um, but uh, it's, it's definitely right now. What not is pretty much, I think just all auctions. Vamp on district is like a um, 
store. So it's kind of like going, it's a marketplace. So it's like going to Etsy or eBay mm -hmm. or whatever. It's a store, but they're also doing auctions and stuff like that. So it's not like there's auctions all the time. So it's definitely fun if you just, you know, like perusing, like me, I'm always on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of folks, you know, just have now started, you know, just going to vamp and, you know, looking at all the listings, see what's new. And they also have, um, what's fun is it's very social. So they've got chat forms so people can talk to each other like you guys do here. Um, only you can do it at any time, all the time. Um, <clears throat> cool. Okay. So that was a little bit of a segue, but Deanna was asking about whatnot. <laughs> Yeah. So that's how that happened. <laughs> All right. Next item that I am bringing is another one that's starting high. I, I told, now I warned you guys, I'm bringing a lot of things that are starting high. I, I, it just, it's just how it happened. Okay. And that's, that's how it is. That's how it is. So, and I don't think KP is here. <laughs> Isn't KP the one who loved this? I can't remember. Was it? I think maybe. Okay. So this is, candies. I'm going to call this, uh, just put lion. Head door knocker starting at $40. And this, um, we're, we are affectionately calling the Cowardly Lion door knocker mm -hmm. because uh, of his uh, very cowardly like, like face. He looks concerned. He, uh, you know, definitely looks like he has a furrowed brow up there. But it's really, I mean, it's it's heavy. It's nice. Um, I, it's hard to tell if this is cast of brass or bronze. Um, uh, if it's brass, it's very darkened, or it could be, it, this could actually be bronze. I'm I'm leaning toward bronze, um, just by the finish on him. But um, it, well made. A lovely casting, mm -hmm. but you know, you can, I've seen a lot of lion head door knockers. <laughs> um, but what I thought made him interesting was that he looked like he'd be great. If you love the wizard of Oz, uh, or you loved, uh, just the cowardly lion in, in general, you know, cause a little timid, but uh, a very big heart. So yeah, I think uh, I'm just going to have to see if, uh, was it KP who loved this? Gosh darn it, I don't remember now. Yeah. I'll just have to see. I'll see if I can go back for when someone asked about this uh, and see if I can find them. But yeah, there is the start $40 for him. Um, so he's ready to let your guests in. You would have to get some screws to screw him from the back and there he is. He says, please let this person in. <laughs> <laughs> They're making me nervous standing out here on the doormat. <laughs> oh, you see, Tammy Renee has the exact same one. Oh, cool on beans. Oh, that's cool. Oh, do you love him? <laughs> Very cool. Hey, Jason. Jason, hey, Jason and Tina, happy Easter, happy spring to both of you. Uh, thanks for popping in on a holiday Sunday. I appreciate that mm -hmm. so very much. Everyone say hi to Jason, Mother Tucker's Antiques. Jason has uh, just, you know, welcomed me so nicely uh, um, in his sales. He's definitely someone who wants to build our community and Absolutely. lift lift everyone up. Yeah. So if any of you out there have not visited Mother Tucker's Antiques um, or gone to any of his sales, I would definitely recommend go giving him a visit. Give him a subscribe um, because uh, it, talk about a heart of gold. Jason has yeah. a heart of gold and, and really does want to see all of us in this community succeed and grow our, our channels. So, uh, yeah, definitely appreciate it. And I see some bids for Cowardly Lion yes. Door Knocker. Hold on. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I see yeah, Isabel D has come in at 40 and then LaDonna came in probably I'm guessing around the same time. And then LaDonna went up to 45. So, uh, Isabel and LaDonna, uh, I will start a countdown from 15, 14, 13, 12, 
11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid end. Oh, yeah, I see Isabel sneaking in and then, oh, LaDonna sneaking in. <laughs> How is the oh, leg? Boy. Have you been counting? Yeah, yeah, I'm just kind of letting them work it out a little bit. Okay, let them work it out. Uh, Isabel went up to 49 and LaDonna went up to 50. Oh, thank you, Jason. Now, I mean, like, I, I mean it. Like, oh, I, yeah. I, I appreciate and I, yeah, I recognize and acknowledge. Um, Jason, team, they're good people. The, the effort, people. The, just the effort that you make um, to help, help, and you know, encourage um, the growth for, of all the channels in this community. I, I, I not only appreciate it, but I just want to, like, acknowledge it, that um, it means a lot. Oh, they're still going. Okay. Yeah. Let me go back. LaDonna just put a power bit in. So LaDonna is uh, going up to 60 after Isabel went to 51. So Scott's just giving them some time to decide how badly each one wants the cowardly lion. Okay. Looks like okay. bid end has come in. So, LaDonna, you got it with the power bid of $60. Thank you so much. And All thank right. you, Isabel, for loving uh, him as well. I yeah. appreciate that. Um, uh, definitely. Um, uh, all of your bids mean a lot to me continuing <laughs> my, my um, reseller journey here on YouTube. So it means a lot. I appreciate you very, very much. Okay. LaDonna. Thank you. Thank you, LaDonna. All right. <clears throat> this is, I think, one of the last major <laughs> higher one, higher bid items. Then it's going to go down a little bit, guys. I've got another one that's starting high, but they're really cool. <laughs> They're really cool. Mm. So this is a set of four okay. pewter cups. Start $48. Basically, because I'm I am starting it out as valuing them at 12 per cup. And so they're all identical but it's a set of four. Aren't these wow. awesome? Here, you hold up the other one okay. so they can see all four of them together. <laughs> so this is um, we're start what we're starting the bid on at $48. Uh, just, <laughs> they're awesome. They are awesome. They got um, I'm going to show you the, the stamp here. So um, looking at the bottom, I mean, definitely European. Um, probably somewhere in the 20th century. Really lovely uh, relief of the uh, lion on the shield. Now, I know like when I think of um, this kind of heraldic image, sometimes you think of uh, King Richard Lionheart. But I, I think this is, th there's also a s similar symbol of this lion um, in France. And I'm thinking this is more for um, French monarchy. Um, but whether you like, you know, more um, English style or French, I think these would fit in wonderfully. Um, if you had a pewter collection, I think they're wonderful. Uh, I, I can't say enough. They've got lions. They're pewter. They're incredible. They're a little bit, they're a little bit taller than the mint julep cups, but how cool to have this on, on a table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course you could use them as little, um, uh, little vases and things like that. Um, 
I just saw uh, on a another YouTuber's channel where she planted an orchid in a mint julep cup and it looked mm. darling. So you have some, oh, have some ale. Yeah, yeah. These, these actually I think might be little beer steins that would be, yeah, possibly. Just... I think you're probably more right going down the ale route. But heck, you could throw lemonade in here. Go on, conquer the village. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we've Someone got Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Gloria is in oh, at Gloria's 50 here. for the set of four. Uh, beautiful relief pewter um, ale cups or whatever your beverage choice, right? Yeah. Uh, lovely finish. Beautiful finish. Uh, they have like this little lip on them. You know, they look really good. I mean, some metal, like, you know, metal wear, but like nothing, nothing bad. It's like they have the, the perfect patina. Yeah. Perfect patina. Oh, you're warm. This cup is so warm. <laughs> it's warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. You're just like a little ice cube today. <laughs> Gloria says she just got here. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you did. Glad you so did, Gloria. Gloria loves here. I'm just going to hold the one because it's just so much easier for yeah. me to hold it up nice and still. Um, but it is for the four and Gloria's in at 50. So I will start counting down for her. Uh, and again, I am thinking uh, King Philip of France. Um, but I'm not positive. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. I'm going to count down from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Bid end. Gives Harry Potter vibes. Absolutely. Mm, yeah. Gryffindor. I'm a I'm a I'm a Gryffindor house. Do you guys want to guess what Scott is? Oh, they I'm sure they can probably forget. Everybody that. guess what Scott's um um house. No. Oh. Hogwarts. What is Hogwarts houses? Congrats, Gloria, you win. Yay. Hey Catherine! Happy, happy spring to you. Happy, happy spring. They all know. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I'm a Hufflepuff. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, I did, I did the test. I did like a long test, like, like a long, it was, it, it was a lot of questions. And I was Gryffindor every time. And he only did it once, but he was an obvious Hufflepuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm so glad well, you're you know, happy. Badgers Yay, are pretty Gloria. badass, you know? Badgers are really awesome animals, and they're tough and mean. They're tough and mean? Yeah, badgers. Oh, cause that's your animal? Yeah. Right? I don't know Just a lot about Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. I mean... <laughs> You tell me how it is in Hufflepuff. I don't know. Tell well, me how the puffs. I'll... You tell me how the puffs roll. I'd like to know. <laughs> hey, when you have a badger as your animal, you got to be pretty tough. People don't mess with badgers. Okay. That's all I have to say. <laughs> See, yeah, Ladonna knows. She said they're they're vicious. Okay, all right. Deanna says she's Slytherin. Not sure what that says about me. <laughs> uh, I think that just means you're very much like. You're very much like Gryffindor, only you might be like, you might have slightly less conflict about certain moral issues. <laughs> that, that's, I think, the only difference. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Now I have another teddy bear. I'm not sure you guys are going to love him, but I'm going to bring him. So this is a, a merry thought. Oh. I want you to put that down because okay. that's his brand. Oh, Catherine's doing been doing some um, 
cooking for the week ahead. That's smart. I've, I try that. I've tried it and it always ends up failing for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let's see. Mary thought, oh, Oops. cream mohair. Get off of But that. it's, I mean, it's, it's awesome when you do it because, you, you know, you just do spend like an afternoon in the kitchen, then you got meals all week. It's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, that is. All right. Where are we so, I'm sorry. I got 20, 26. Okay. $26. I'm just waiting to see that. There we go. Okay. So, you guys, I have a friend. He's definitely an expat uh, from England, from across the pond. This, this is a little British bear. This is a British bear. He is a merry thought bear. Um, and here is his tag on the foot. So I have, I have an affection for Mary Thought Bears. I have quite a few in my collection. Um, so when I saw him at an estate sale, uh, I immediately knew he was Mary Thought without even seeing his foot. Um, and it, if I didn't have this exact, I have this exact one, the same color and everything. I would have, I, if I didn't already have this one, I would have kept him because I have a thing for the Mary Thought Bears. I just love their faces. Uh, I just think they're adorable. So this one is a 16 inch and um, uh, he's got little toffee brown colored pads on his little paws. Now the, this little bow tie um, is added. This is a vintage satin uh, black and white bow tie that is for an adult. I just wrapped the the neck part twice and it fit him perfect. Uh, so I decided to dress up my little British bear uh, to present to all of you. And uh, if you notice on his, his little tag, it usually it says like Ironbridge Shrops, is that what it says? And it stands for Ironbridge Shropshire. And that is where the factory is in Shropshire, England. And Ironbridge is a very famous uh, bridge uh, there in Shropshire. So you can still go to the Mary Thought factory and buy. So Mary Thought is kind of like the Stife of Germany. I mean, <laughs> My, Mary Thought is like the Stife of England. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I like I like adding the little bow tie too. Um, it's it's precious. So they're mm -hmm. beautiful mohair bears. They are uh, articulated. They're wonderful. You know, just just like Stife only. You know, they are the uh, classic English uh, factory that makes these beautiful antique style teddy bears. Well, when they were antique, they were antique. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This one uh, is more recent, just like Stife. Um, it's just has its merry thought, limited England, telling you how to clean it um, tag. But really clean. I mean, I think whoever bought this just bought it and had it in their uh, display. Um, they definitely uh, bought as a collector bear. I uh, don't think this was ever hand handled by a child. Um, just lovely cream mohair on this little guy. And this little guy doesn't have a name either. Yeah. You're good, yeah. You're good at names. What's his, what's his name? Gonna be? No, no, they need to name him. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, you know, I, I will, I, you know, we can, but I don't, I don't, I feel like, you know, sometimes it's nice to have, you know, the owner name their bear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, he's a beautiful 16 inch Mary thought. Anybody who likes Mary thought. But it looks like I have uh, your twin brother. I have your twin brother upstairs. <laughs> I think Patsy might be in, but she put 25. Um, did I put 20? Did I put I put 26, I think, to start. So Patsy, are you bidding on the Mary Thought Bear? Okay, yeah, she is. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, she got. Hi, Patsy, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Patsy. <laughs> happy Easter, happy spring. Thank you for your bid of 26 for a Mr. English Bear. So cute and dapper. So 
Let's start counting down for Patsy from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. He says, Patsy, name <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the Mary Thought Bears are <laughs> so cute. I love them. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Yay. Patsy. All right. You going to Patsy's house? All right. All right. Oh, this is fun. All right. So we're doing a children's book. Oh, let's take down Patsy's bid. And this is a classic, uh, definitely my generation. So, babe, we have got the best storybook ever. Oh. This is going to start at $10. Okay. Now, you can get this book new, but this is vintage. This actually is the same age as me. <laughs> this is a ninth printing printed in 1972. Uh, the original uh, copyright is 1968. Um, but this one uh, was printed $10, same $10. same year I was born. $10. $10. Okay. So I love Richard Scary. I mean, this Richard Scary was definitely my favorite as a kid. Um, my favorite book was Cars and Trucks and Things That Go. Uh, I couldn't stop looking at it, reading it. Uh, I loved it. Uh, but the printing is oh, just, I love it. I love it. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And there's so many stories in here. Like a ton. So you could learn <coughs> alphabet. Hey. Warren. Hey Warren. hey, Warren. It's been a while since I've seen you. Hi. Happy Easter to you. Glad to have you here. Um, okay. So let's let's just we've got ways to learn. Um and, and the Richard Scary books just the way that they are illustrated, I just love them. Hmm. Look at this little rabbit checking out the bugs, doing some etymology study. In the summer, I listen to the insects buzzing and humming. Oh, in the fall, I like to watch the leaves falling from the trees. So different books. You've got a bear story here. I got a little mm. chinoiserie jar. <laughs> Love this. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is by Richard Scary, you guys. But I love it. Work machines. This is a thick book. <laughs> yeah, a lot of good stuff in there. It's, it's just a fun compilation of a lot of different Richard Scary books put all together. Like, here's what animals do. A tale of tales. <laughs> I don't know if you guys grew up with Richard Scary, but... Yeah, booster. Look at... Hmm. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. See, this story I don't remember. The Fox and the Crow. Do you remember that story? I don't know if I read that one. Hmm. The Fox and the Crow, told by Patricia Scary. A crow sat in a high tree holding a tasty bit of cheese in her mouth. Along came a hungry warthog. The crow will laugh when she sees my funny face and drop the cheese. He called to the crow making a funny face, but she didn't even smile. She said, nope, I'm not dropping my cheese. <laughs> and along came a hungry elephant. Drop the cheese to me or I will give you a shower bath. <laughs> wow. I didn't know elephants like cheese that much. <laughs> nope, she's just not having it. She's like, nope, cheese is mine. <laughs> you can't have it. 
Hmm. Oh no. It says, <laughs> I guess the Fox, uh, uh, called her pretty and she opened her beak and rasped an ugly caw and down tumbled the cheese into the fox's mouth. Uh, so tricked her. How dare you call me pretty? <laughs> I don't know. That's definitely not down my alley because I love to be called pretty. I mean, it's it pretty much is the way to my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be totally honest. <laughs> I'm a very insecure woman who likes to be told, like, right? That's right. Okay. I'm just going to stare at this book. <laughs> Is this the house of Mistress Mouse? We've got a story about a chicken. We've got little mice. So cute. <laughs> oh, look. Jennifer has. This. If I had paid attention to the chat, I yeah. would know that Peppermint Patty and Patsy are also into Richard Scary. Yeah. Me they too. Like him. Me too. Simpatico. Jennifer likes him too. Yeah. If you guys <laughs> LaDonna. Jennifer's I'm going, calling you pretty. I'm going, thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> See? So <clears throat> oh, I was gonna sell tell LaDonna though. Get Faye, my favorite book, Cars and Trucks and Things That Go. So cute. And you hunt for this little gold bug on each page. It's like, where's Waldo, but with a little bug. And it's very fun. Mm. Oh, look, they're making colors. Red and white make pink. Roses and bunny noses are pink. Baby pigs are pink. So cute. This is white. A snowman is white, and so is a duck. Sleepy bear cubs are black. Oh, adorable. Okay. Since we have some friends who are in, I'm going to count down for the vintage 1970 do, 1972 printing of the best storybook ever from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <clears throat> see i end up being myself so much here you guys like i just I, I say it like it is whether it's um reflective um whether it's healthy reflection of my personality or not i just tell you like because i'm very how do you want to say it not straight shooter but basically yeah. uh, i don't hold a lot back when i'm comfortable and i'm comfortable yeah. with all of you guys mm -hmm. So I tell you all of my secrets. I tell you that, yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I get insecure and I, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I see, choo, choo, choo. I see Peppermint Patty and Patsy both going back and forth. 18, 20. Hold on. Let's, all the people who are watching and not in the chat, I will, okay. We've got Patsy at 21, Peppermint Patty at 22. And Scott's bid end. So that means Peppermint Patty takes it at $22. Thank you. Enjoy this. I think it's so, so great. Yeah, it's a great book. All right. Thank you so much, both of you. Peppermint. Peppermint. All right. Next up, next up. Oh, so that was the end of the lion portion of uh, the sale. So now we're into hairs. We're into the hairs. And the first is another Walnut Ridge Primitives. Now, I love this one. This has been mine for a while <laughs> in my kitchen. <laughs> but I said, I guess I can part with this hair if somebody also loves her. So put Walnut Ridge Primitives. Okay. Hair. 
$13. So, um, possibly a Victorian dress. Uh, this hair has a little basket backpack. Definitely a traveler. And uh, I thought that as we move into April, April 1st tomorrow, with the umbrella, it would be fun for uh, April just because of April showers. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, it is uh, 1990s. This one is darkly painted, so it's hard to read the signature. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it out. I am. 1991. Can you guys see that? Right down there. Whoops. Hmm. <laughs> 1991 was this um, little, I don't know, maybe she's, maybe this is even older than Victorian. What do you think? Georgian? A Georgian dressed? <laughs> Definitely more traveling clothes. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, maybe on their way to the store, they, I'm not sure what they're doing. Out to go buy some seed for their garden. But. Could be. Yep. <laughs> Cute little hair in her apron. In uh, her little spats and ready for any inclement weather should it come along on her journey down the road. So no one's in for her. No one's in for you. Or maybe this is a man. I think it's a lady because it's like a skirt. Yeah, it's got a dress on. Yeah. Back on the shelf you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Back on the shelf. Back on the kitchen. I'm passing. Okay. I'm keeping her. Okay. okay. Oh, now we've got my brooches. Just found these, I said, and I, the reason I got them because I'm like, well, I'm going to have the sale. So, so we've got a pair of put Jelly Belly um, pins because they're kind of because they're like a pair. They're kind of like scatter pins, and I pinned them to a jewelry pouch um, so it'd be easier to show. These are going to start at fifteen dollars. So look at them. They're little jelly belly rabbits uh, with uh, little glass bellies and little green rhinestone eyes. Uh, definitely same design, just one is smaller than the other one. You could, I mean, these, I think they were definitely meant to be on your lapel um, together, but you don't have to keep these together. You could put one on a lapel, one on your hat. Um, Really cute if you're a Jelly Belly collector. I know a lot of people like these types of brooches. Um, if you're not familiar with Jelly Belly, um, keep your eye out. Um, some of these can be like super collectible. And here, I'll put this up. Boom. Oh, well, I see these. I see so many people call the colored ones Jelly Bellies. <laughs> I've called these Jelly Bellies forever like since i started etsy and i started etsy selling jewelry huh. <laughs> like i just did straight jewelry if you go back to like my listings way at the beginning it's mostly all jewelry these are cabochon pair okay so oh. apparently Ladonna says that jelly bellies are only supposed to be clear but in my jewelry world i i remember a lot of people calling the the colored ones jelly bellies too but i i believe you you definitely are uh up on like especially listings <laughs> so we're gonna go with green glass cabochon belly and rhinestone eyed mm -hmm. scatter pin pair rabbits uh, and i think these are about 1960s um i i don't know for sure but just the the character of them and their positioning, um, that's that's what I would I would date them as. Um, yeah, I, I was gonna say because like I remember seeing like a lot. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to, I'm getting I'm getting distracted. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying? All right. Oh, just uh, um, Patsy was saying she liked some things she got from Pamela. Okay. 
Blueberry Barn, thank you for your bid of $15 on my pair of green bellied scatter pin rabbits with little cocked ears. Uh, and here, I'll just hold them up so you can see about size. I can measure them, of course, if you want blueberry, but they are littler. Um, the little scatter pins. Um, these were, I think, really popular with like the 1950s, 60s, the little cardigans. They'd wear little tiny, cute scatter pins on their little cardigans, I think. Or at least maybe that's just what I saw in the movies. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know. I, I mean, but they're, they're just so, they're such characters. I mean, you know, they're not just any rabbits. They're like cartoony rabbits. Hmm. A lot of um, life in them. They look like they want to hop off of your chest while you're wearing them. Or maybe hmm. give you a big hug. Or maybe give you a punch. It look, does <laughs> look like one arm is cocked higher than the yeah. other one. Maybe one of them just wants to punch you out. <laughs> But I'm going to count down for blueberry <laughs> ah, from 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bid. And I'm going to need some of my bubbly water or oh, or yeah. some regular water Yeah, because like, they might not want to hear me burp. <laughs> LaCroix, I mean, I drink a lot of this and I belch a lot. I'm just, I'm just definitely experiencing a dry palate at the moment. <laughs> Very dry. There it is. Bit end. Thanks, Blueberry. You get the bunnies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm taking a swig. Oh, there comes the real water. Thank you. There you go. We'll just. Oh, that's better. That is better. And my little jacket is popping up. How do you always end up out of frame? Oh, well. It's like. I think it's just subconscious. <laughs> You still I don't like to be in the, you know, I don't know, in the limelight too much. We're at home, honey. I know. Oh, where is the... Oh! Wait. Oh, here we go. I got it. Hold on. Let me <clears throat> fix this, you guys. So I made an exception to my standard. <laughs> Instead of oh. a instead of a bird in a beaded bag <laughs> for the holiday, we're doing a hair in a beaded bag. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this hair. This is I think this is one of those felty where someone felted this. Um, isn't it so darn cute? I'll pull it out of the bag in a second, but I'll just give you a nice look of how cute he looks in here. Uh, and this one is uh, a, a Hong Kong beaded bag. So this isn't a 1920s version. This is um, a, definitely probably 1980s beaded bag, but beautiful silver. Oh, hmm. this is starting at 25. Okay. Beaded bag, hair in a beaded bag, starting at 25. Uh, this one has the silver, gold, and copper. And I, I love these tones. Um, these are the tones that work really well on, on a lot of my displays because I love the brass caskets and I love the antique quadruplate silver. So you've got the gold, the silver, and of course, you know, I love copper too. Like it's got, it's just got all the metals. It's got all the metal colors that you could want. Um, so that's definitely why I, I grabbed it. Um, just pretty and it is beaded on both sides i added a little copper flower in the corner and then let's look at our hair let's look at our hair <laughs> look at this little guy and i did give him a little brooch uh, to make him extra dapper but isn't he i mean it's just 
it's it's definitely it doesn't look as much like a bunny it looks like a hair <laughs> yeah. look at those ears i mean damn some ears right there that is a that's a long ear do your ears hang low do they wobble to and fro he could tie this in a knot and a bow <laughs> <laughs> right uh but so cute i don't know who made him but he's so cute <laughs> Oh my gosh. Just adorable. And his little his little tail. It, it's like a little smushy, but there, there we go. There you can see. See, they gave him a good little, little tail. tail. Got a cotton tail. But so cute. The way he's he's situated. I thought, oh, this could go in that beaded bag. And I'll bring it to the bears and hair sale. You know, yeah. like it's just the way. Hold on, you have to. Okay, so in this one, you have to kind of close the purse up and squish him in there. Hold on. Can this day? Yeah, I, I can't. I have to do it where I can see it. Is that how I had him? I think he was more sideways, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Is that how you were? We'll just go with it. <laughs> Cute little guy. Yeah. Oh, I see Val is in at 25. Mm -hmm. And then Cloria was in at 25. He hears everything you're saying. Oh, no. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, I hope he's not a gossiper because <laughs> I'm sure he could relay a thing, or, a thing or two. Yeah. About. Uh, my dirty secrets. <laughs> Do you know that for like the past week, every time I get down to the basement, because I'm such a mess, like packing and things like that, I'm always coming up with tape stuck to the bottom of my socks. I mean, this is true. Yeah. I mean, this rabbit could just tell all sorts of stories. Yeah. Like you would be surprised. Heather Elizabeth walks around with little sticky things at the bottom of her feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. Like it's like more than one thing yeah. stuck to the bottom of my sock. Yeah, gets a little frantic when she's back down there packing <laughs> stuff flying everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh! I wonder if that's what he would say too. Is that how I look in the basement? think so it's like it's like i should have a, a mr hyde name <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm gonna count down from 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 Three, two, one, bid, end. One time and one time only. Next time it's going to be a bird. <laughs> bird in the beat of bed. Next time it'll be a bird, for sure. <laughs> Put a bird in. Okay, Gloria, you got it for the $30. Yay, right, thank you, Gloria. Gloria. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I have one more hair. One more hair. And I saved this to the end because this hair is weird. You are welcome, Gloria. I appreciate your bid. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm Maybe I should just say he's, or she, either way, is special, but she's kind of weird. Um. Made in the she's USA. Cute. What do you mean she's weird? Wait till you guys see this. So I want you to just put stuffed rabbit. Start at 16. This one is big. This is 20 inches tall. Um, and it's fairly wide. I did dress her up because I, I warned you. She's a little weird looking. <laughs> Are you ready? Look at this rabbit. <laughs> 
This is the funniest rabbit. Like, first of all, I mean, like, look at her body. She's cuddly. I mean, she got she. Well, she's, she's got some booty. Let's we'll just say there's some junk in the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty plump for a rabbit, that's for sure. She's got some junk in the trunk. But what's what's really kind of kooky about this rabbit? I figure like, well, she's special. Someone might love her. What I thought was interesting is her nose. I mean, look, look at her, look at her nose. Isn't that interest? It's like an, it creates a very interesting head. I mean, it's not your typical rabbit head. It's, it's long. It's not coming. It looks actually more normal in the screen than when I look, I'm looking at her in person. <laughs> she looks weird. <laughs> I'm, is it just me? Or do you guys think that she's a little weird too? Do you know? Really um, cute. Yes. So I added the beautiful lace bow. I added the little uh, <laughs> faux cameo. Now this, this is I don't. This is not resin. I believe this cameo is that Incole. Um, you know those Inco, Incole boxes meant to look like alabaster, but there's some sort of stone. I'm pretty sure this is an Incole stone hmm. cameo. That's what I think this is. I possibly think this is made <laughs> by the 1929, 1928 company by the look of the back, but it's not signed. But just the way the the back design looks, it did remind me of the 1928 brand um, of jewelry. But I, I wanted to give her kind of like a shabby uh, French brocanti look to her because she's so, her face is just so interesting. And what I was thinking of was um, Matt Gronig, the creator of The Simpsons. Before The Simpsons, he had a um, cartoon that he was famous for of uh, a one-eared rabbit and other rabbits. Um, and it was known as Life Life is Hell. And they were cartoons. Um, and I, you know, used to look at them in the old Walden bookstore. They used to have like books of his cartoons in there. And in that Life is Hell one-eared rabbit world, there were some characters called Akbar and Jeff. And Akbar and Jeff, I don't know if you watched on Netflix, Matt Gronig's most recent animated venture called Enchantment, but there are two little creatures that look a lot like Akbar and Jeff from the 70s. And this rabbit's face reminds me of Akbar and Jeff. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys loved uh, Matt Gronig and Life is Hell way back when, but doesn't this face kind of remind you of Akbar and Jeff? I don't know. Val likes it anyway. I could be crazy. <laughs> I lost a pen. Oops. I know, but well, that's why I thought. I'm like, this is this rabbit is like just odd enough where I'm like, it's like kind of cool. That's <laughs> obviously why I brought it because I thought it's. Yeah. Super, super cuddly too. Yeah, and it's not handmade. It's like it's a made in USA from. Does it have a brand? Hold on, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I think it's like a boutique. It says the Hen in the Holly, Santa Fe Springs, California, made in the USA. That's what his tag says. The Hen in the Holly, and he kind of has like oatmeal-y, oatmeal-ish fur. My goodness. Hmm. The face. I can't get over the face. <laughs> like, look. <laughs> look at that. All right. Val, I'm going to count down. From 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Even weird bunnies need love too. Yeah. Does anyone know who Akbar and Jeff are? Or is it only me? I think Akbar and Jeff 
might have been one of the first uh, gay couple cartoons. That's what I think. Unless you count Bert and Ernie, but they weren't cartoons. They were puppets. They were puppets. <laughs> Okay. All right. That concludes the Sunday night soiree for Easter Sunday. My lions, tigers, bears, and hares sale. Yay. Now, thank you, Val. Did I thank you? Thank you for giving uh, that odd little rabbit a home. Do any of you want me to recap? Because I have several things that were passed on before we do our raffle. We are, I am going to give away. This is going to be the giveaway to somebody. Somebody's going to get an Easter uh, made in Taiwan. So probably 1980s. Little Easter bunny figurine. That's going to be the, the raffle tonight. But before we do the raffle, <clears throat> um, we passed on this antique sarsaparilla trade card sandwiched between... Uh, two plates of glass uh, depicting Hood's sarsaparilla. This was fifth. This was starting at fifteen dollars. Hundred doses for a dollar. Hood sarsaparilla uh, for your medicinal needs. Uh, and there was some fun advertising for a uh, circus on the back, which is why um, uh, on the spot I came to the conclusion that maybe this trade card was handed out in front of the circus tent because it talks about. Uh, events uh, happening at the circus, like don't miss uh, Zazzle uh, and her life-saving net that she <coughs> jumps off and into. <clears throat> so this was starting at 15. If anybody wants to put on that one. Barbara wants you to bring back the hair with the umbrella. Hair with the umbrella. Okay, let's go back, let's go back. Hair with umbrella. Okay, so this was our Walnut Ridge Primitive. This was starting at 13. Uh, Barbara, just put in a 13 and I'll do a quick countdown for you. Was there, uh, did you just wanna see uh, the face or the paint more? Here's a close up on the paint. Uh, you know, definitely uh, painted to look more like in that primitive style, but these were made in the 90s. Okay, Barbara's in. At She's in. Okay, I'll do a quick countdown from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Thanks, Barbara. Barbara White. Okay. 13. Okay. Then the other thing that was a pass was this guy. Oh, this was starting at $15 too. Is anybody interested in a very well-loved, probably from the 1940s or 50s, velvet balloon pants, worn teddy. Oh. And he was going to come with his special little mm -hmm. bag. Little special. That uh, I had put something in here that I was going to show, but I wasn't sure. Oh, wait. Yeah, Val's interested. Val's in. Are, are you interested in the bear, Val? Oh, she says thank you. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, Val. Yeah. So I'm going to show you. So. Yeah. While I was sitting here at the table, I had a conversation with this bear. Patsy named the bear. His name is his. His name is Gregory. This is Gregory, or her? Wait, did she? Oh, she got the Mary Thought Bear. Oh, Gregory. Gregory. Yeah. Okay, I Gregory. will. I will address him as Gregory when I pack him uh, for you, uh, so that like he gets used to his name. Gregory from London. <laughs> Good to know. Thanks for letting us know, Patsy. So the Mary Thought is Gregory. Okay. So this little guy told me that he he once uh, ha had like style. He was styling 
he had overalls he had a whole outfit he 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 was a dapper little bear and now he's little he's grungy so i said okay well you know what if i sent you along to your new home this uh i'll give you this little this little bag little little bear bag to take with you in case someone wanted to snazz you up a little bit and so you'd have to sew them on but I thought, well, this Ooh. would be awfully cute on your, on his pants. <laughs> He's a fancy bear now. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it fit. I thought it fit, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to assume that someone would want to dress you up, even though you said you had brighter days. Maybe someone wants you just as raggedy as you are, because hmm. a lot of us like the raggedy. But I thought I would give you the chance and send you along with your little leather bag. <laughs> And your little buttons, your little buttons to snazz you up, we'll give you a little extra flair. It's called styling. I'm learning this That's as right. I as I am growing in in my um, yeah. my clothing, my fashion styling adventures. It's called styling. So that's what his buttons are for. Got his own little man bag here. Yeah. I'm gonna count down from ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. Somebody did really love him, Diana. Absolutely. Lots of love. Lots and lots of love. Okay, okay. Val. Thanks, Val. So this goes to Val. All right. Shall we do our raffle now? Do you have my, um, looks like bowl, bowl of names? Yep, sure do. Okay. And we're going to pick for the Easter Bunny because I thought it'd be appropriate. Barbara White. Barbara White gets the bunny. You get the Easter Bunny. You won the raffle this time, Barbara. Congratulations. All right. Wait, let's put that in and that down. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming in. So that goes to Barbara. Okay. Let me. She's got all bunnies. <laughs> Scott just said she has all bunnies. <laughs> so Mia, it's good to see you. Um, are you oh no your sales are usually on monday right so if you have a sale on monday let everyone know thanks for coming in happy easter happy easter, <laughs> happy easter to you <clears throat> okay all right so that concludes our evening and the chatty kitties don't have anything going on tonight they're taking a break for the holiday which is fair so i'm not sure if there's anything going on after this, I'm sure there must be something happening. Uh, if not, then I'm going to recommend you start with watching Amy's video um, of the doll show because that was that was uh, fun. If you will, if you like looking at dolls, enamor, Dear enamor Amy, yes, yeah. enamor Amy, dear Angela, don't don't watch that video. <laughs> <laughs> Can You're, we disturb? You have nightmares. Yeah, don't watch that video. Yeah. <laughs> But tomorrow, I'm going to have my chat show with Angela on my channel. Tomorrow night, Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Hmm. So I will see you again tomorrow, my friends. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out with us on Easter. Yeah, uh, I, I appreciate it. Uh, I love you guys. I really do. This is this is very fun for me. Um, and if you have any requests feel free to email me. Uh, I, I always get uh, such uh, nice um, uh, feedback from when you buy things. And you, so far, you, you know, you're very happy with your items and sometimes the little extras. So I, I'm very glad about that. Um, are you... She to, that's when she does her show. Yes. Every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. So tomorrow, um, Mia will have her 
her sale. Um, and then on Wednesdays, she does unboxings. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you like jewelry, great place to go see some great items. Okay. So good night, Jennifer Cagle. Good night, everyone. Uh, thanks again for coming. I wish you uh, a wonderful rest of your evening. Fantastic week. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow night on my channel. Take care. And uh, I need, I have, I have, I've been late on videos. So, so hang in there yeah. on my videos, but I, I just, I need yeah. to get my butt moving and decide on, a, decide on one. Hmm. But thanks for watching everybody. Hey, everybody.